I was diagnosed when I was 25. I was then working at a law firm and I was also going to run for public office and it was a very stressful time in my life. That's when all the symptoms erupted. But I had been experiencing some of the symptoms prior to that for several years. I was anemic already. I've been having some rashes, but I thought that it was normal. But then I was attributing it to my lack of exercise. My legs were very swollen, that I couldn't fit into my shoes. So, and then I was having back pain, but I thought it was muscle pain, but it turned out it was my kidneys that was hurting. I was also losing my hair, losing my hair, the rashes, the joint pains. I had frequent fevers. So one day, I just decided to go to the ER. Then they didn't diagnose me right away. After a while, they were able to figure it out when they took all the symptoms together that it was lupus. My first reaction was, what can we do about it? The first thing they did was bombard me with steroids. And inside my body, it was all inflamed. The steroids did me a lot of good right away. Like, I really felt the effects right away. In a meal, I take like eight to nine pills. I started to shed the weight. The rashes subsided in a way. The joints eased up and then I felt normal again. My doctor told me that there's going to be a difficulty for me to have children, especially since I have the antibodies that attack the baby. He said, expect na lang na wala. But um, as you know, I have Emma, so nothing's really impossible. I had gotten like a complication due to my lupus. I had gotten very sick after I gave birth to Emma. I could have died. When I was able to hurdle that challenge in my health, I said that I want to help other patients with lupus too. I wanted to raise awareness about lupus. I wasn't aware of the symptoms and that's why it took me such a long time to go to the doctor to seek help and also to be diagnosed. If I had known that, oh, butterfly rash, it's sign of lupus, I could have received the treatment and the lupus wouldn't have attacked my other organs. This happens to a lot of people. It's the same experience and for some it's too late. This doesn't need to happen. But more than that, I want to help people who are indigent and can't afford the treatment because it's forever and they don't know who to turn to. Having someone to talk to who's going through what you're going through, it's just so relieving who understands more or less what you're going through. Nakaka gaan lang ng pakiramdam na may nakakausap ka. One misconception is that, that it's terminal. It discourages others from hiring people with lupus or they think that people with lupus would, would not be capable to do regular work. Lupus as an illness is very manageable. I lead a very active lifestyle. I work out regularly. I, my work is a full-time job and on top of that, I have my daughter and I'm a hands-on mom. I get tired, but things that I do make me happy, so it doesn't cause me too much stress. Always see the positive side of things. That's the reason why I survive.